Hello everybody. Today we're going to um, play around with fabric. <laughs> so I have been playing around with my jelly plate and when I say jelly plate I mean a little one. Um, I have it right here. Okay and I have them both. I have two small ones because these were cut from my big one. And so I have them different sizes. And this fabric has been done with jelly plate but using them like a stamp, right? So um, same method, same everything. If you guys want to see it, just let me know and I'll you know do a really quick video on it. It doesn't take much at all and we can play together. So after I've gotten this fabric done, I was just playing the other day, not having in mind what I wanted to do with it actually. Up until half an hour ago, I didn't know what I was going to be doing today. So <laughs> this is, and here it's Monday. Tomorrow, you know, which would be today for you guys, will be, it will be posted. So I, you know, like these bright colors. I didn't want to cover up the fabric too much. And um, I thought, now what am I going to do with them? You could do anything with them at this point. You know, they could be done as, you know, little booklet covers. They can be done as, um, oh dear, a whole bunch of things. So what I'm doing today, and excuse my nails because I've already gotten them dirty. And this, this green, I'll show to you what I had done with it after. So I turned the fabric around and I thought of flowers, but I thought of swirly flowers. Um, I have a dye like that with swirly flowers. It's really cute. And I even have the acorn one that's beautiful as well too. Like that could be, I could put the fabric underneath the Sizzix machine and cut it directly. They would come out kind of small but um, beautiful. Here I'm making a bigger flower. So I'm going to get a pencil, which I did have here just a minute ago because I got everything ready. Okay. And I'm going to go to one side of the fabric and I'm going to start here in the middle. Now, because of the video, I don't know what you're going to be able to see, but I will go on after with the marker because I feel more comfortable doing it the first time with the pencil. So I'm going to get around the center here of um, this piece of fabric and I'm going to start you know just going um, doing a spiral design all the way around you can you know have this as big as you want or as small as you want depends on how big you want the flower to look now naturally this is all the fabric I have so the flower will only can only become a certain size I'm um, trying to see if you guys can see that. I'm not sure. But like I said, I can go and with a marker around. So that way you guys can see better. And it doesn't bother me to have these marker signs on the other side. The first one I did like this, so that way I could see it while I was cutting it. And then um, the second one I did, I don't think I did this way. Okay, so roughly there's my spiral. Now to save time on the video and to not bore you guys, what I am going to do now is grab the scissors and I'm going to cut along the black line all the way around. Okay? And it will become like this. Sorry, you guys, I got it off the side here. I just have to grab it. There we go. Okay. I'm going to bring this to the side. It will become like this. I'm going to spread it apart so you guys can see the spiral design in it. Right? Let's bring you back out again. Okay? I'm going to put it back together again. Right down here. And what I'm going to show you now is... Now, this is kind of... Um, We've seen spiral flowers done on YouTube, definitely. There's hundreds and hundreds of videos out there with paper. Um, with fabric, I'm not sure. I really didn't check you guys, but I am going to after I finish the video because I haven't even turned on my computer yet. But the colorfulness of it and, you know, the what I, I will be using is kind of inspired. It is, is not kind of, it is inspired to me by Alma... 
Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so sorry. I don't remember. I will put the link down below. So look down below and there will be the link of her channel. And I had done a video um, of her beads once before. Instead, these were beads that were wrapped around uh, a knitting needle and like nice big chunky beads with, with um, fabric beads with little beads, you know, um, sewing into it here and there but this time what we are going to do is I uh, you're going to get a good strong glue and a, preferably a good strong glue that has a small little nozzle or try to put it in um, you know in one of your little nozzle bottles um, I can't remember the name of those this is a glue that I am you know pretty happy with up till now so far because it's the first time that I'm using it and it's a glue that's um, extra forte, which means um, super um, durable, like super strong. Ec that's the word, super strong. It's from the Italian company Stampedia, and it comes out um, with the thing. And of what I'm seeing here on my other one, because I have another one ready here, it dries clear, so it's perfect. So, yeah, you got to find a white glow. I, I really even, you know, try Aileen's, but trying to put it into a smallest nozzle now if you um, want to you can put a little nozzle around here that has um, uh, out of tape and make a tiny little nozzle if you want to or like I said if you have bottles like this you can um, you know I even have one here that has alcohol in it and I cut the tip and you know it's a small little tip this I think I bought this here it's always from this company so I'm going to start off with explaining to you guys, first of all, that when I open it up here, we are going to start to roll the flower from here, from the outside. So you have to remember that this is going to be the outside of the flower that's showing, the outside. How can I explain this? Starting from here, this is what's going to be showing, to, showing it. Like when we are going to start wrapping it around like this, right? This is what we are going to be seeing, this edge here, not this edge. This edge will be down below. So naturally, we are going to put whatever we want to on the edges. And here I'm going to start, you know, just putting some glue down. If I want to abundantly, if I don't want to. And, you know, sequences, little tiny beads. Naturally, it's a bit tedious, you guys. Um... You can even sew these things on if you wanted to, but I found sewing was a bit tedious. I started sewing the first one, and then I, then I ended up gluing everything down. I'm just going to get my little tweezers here, and, you know, there's even little rings here. There's little um, f spacers that you can use in your, in your um, flower, and we can even put little micro beads. Um, I, right now, am falling in love with sequences. I don't know why. I never liked them before. I've never paid much attention to them before. But I am really liking them. So remembering another thing, you guys. We are going to start rolling it from here. Right? So this is going to be the inside. What you're going to see on the outside will be more the center of it. But you want to spread your things around anyways. And, um... You know, hopefully it goes well because I have one ready, you guys. It's all dry. It all has its sequences on it. But I'm not sure what it's going to look like when it's rolled up. I rolled it up before I put anything on to see what it would look like and it looked beautiful. But I haven't really tried it with the beads already on. But you get the drift here. You just, you know, keep on adding things here and there. Um, some beads sequences even you know these little um i can't remember what these are called oh dear i know what they're called in italian but i can't remember what they're called in english i'm just going to keep on i want to give 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 it to you like this pretty close up so you guys can understand how where they're going and, you know, like I said, just keep on spreading things out. Now, for the reason of the video, and because I'd like to get all the big things first attached on the flower, 
and um, and then at the end put piece put glue here and there and start spreading the little micro beads right here and there so um, so that way you know the paper underneath at a put the micro beads on at the end so that way you know you can let just let it sit and dry it's not going to be disturbed at the end just pick it up and start you know um, putting I'm shaking the micro beads off at the end even with these little sequences you can put a little dab of glue on the inside of the sequence I'm going to do it here too on these ones out here and you can grab a little bead and you can stick it in the middle as well and it's pretty strong glue I'm pretty happy with it definitely going to buy it again and you know what I get really super happy you guys because it is an Italian product it's made in Italy and I kind of want to help the nation here you know I have nothing against buying other products you know American products actually I love American products but I do like to help you know your own economy is um, it's nice to help as well too and I do have you know a fair amount of pro Italian products like I do have a fair amount of American products as well too so you guys I'm going to leave this as is now see here where I put um, some glue here and there's still some glue that's white here I'm just going to pour the, the beads over that um, once you know everything is settled for now I'm just going to leave it and set it aside and I'll deal with it when I finish making this video and I'm going to show you directly one that's already dry and show you what else I put on this besides the beads I put on some let me see if I'll get it here. Okay. Can you see that? Now I put on even these little string of beads. These are perfect to use as well too. They're very flexible. Um, as you can see, I've been using sequins. Here's micro beads and a you know a little bead. Here are some um, rings. And there's laces as well too. There's um, actually two types of laces. There's a very fine transparent lace in some spots here and then I had cut a little doily in half and put it in as well too. Now touching it it's not sticky anymore and I can show you here that like right here I put some micro beads more here more here you know and there's a bit like I said you guys this is kind of an experiment for me too I have not closed up this flower um, off video until now until all the things were you know attached I did close it up when it wasn't so that way I can show you how exactly um, this will go and oh and you can use even sequences you guys these are beautiful as well too on the flowers but just to remind you you can see here that I have everything attached to the edges it's not in on the inside of the swirl it's on the outside of each you know layer okay which we'll call these layers and this is you know the this will be the bottom of the flower this ends up being the bottom of the flower like I said there's hundreds of videos out there that you know show you exactly how to roll them and I'm going to show you now too so I have my hot glue gun ready here and um, you can even do this with needle and thread if you want to so I'm just going to grab it and I'm just going to start to roll it and I'm going to be pinching it here on the bottom you can see that okay once in a while oh, I should have gotten the glue gun in there the um, whatchamacallit the glue stick inside the glue gun and I don't think it's going to be coming out this glue gun has been giving me problems lately you know what I'm going to set it like this who knows it starts maybe it's giving me problems because I put it in a jar upside down I don't know it's just not I have to kind of push a little bit here you guys sorry I'm just gonna there we go push some out to make it start you know moving a bit and you know just keep on turning it I'm so sorry and um, excuse my ouchies 
So here you see the way it is on the inside, the way it's coming. Um, don't worry about it looking like a roll, a normal roll, because as you go on, you're going to be pinching. And once you pinch it, you know, the flower goes out. Oh, but there is something else that I did want to do. Now, on the outside of the things, I wanted to cut little slits here and there, not everywhere, just here and there. And I'll show you what I mean. So from here to here, I've got nothing, so I'm just going to put a couple of little slits here and there, okay? I got the things here, so I'm not going to put slits there. A couple here, a couple here. It'll make the flower turn better. I'm not going to do anything here where the doily is. Um, here and there, look at how pretty that looks with the sequins in there and um, the spacer put inside the sequins. Oh, I just cut through the microbeads by mistake, but that's okay. Like I said, go around the whole thing until you get to the end. So that way, once you're turning them, see some microbeads are flying off of this, but it is dry. See here I tried sewing them on Actually, I'm going to cut these threads. Not that it matters because you're not going to be able to see it. Here I tried sewing the beads on and I thought, you know what, they can be, not, they can be um, you know, glued in. These ones are glued in and they're perfectly fine. It needs, just needs to be a strong glue. It kind of gives you help turning the flower as well too if you put little slits in it. And those little slits will start wearing. You know, they'll start making little fibers of their own that will look really cute in the inside the flower as well. So let's get back to here. We were over here, and I'm going to start turning it again. Okay, and another thing, you guys. Naturally, my design side seems like it's going to be going on the inside of the flower, but when these start opening up, you're going to see the design on the inside of the flower, the colors coming through. And if possible, all, you know, the stuff that I put in as well. So once in a while, put a dab of glue and continue turning. And you can actually, like, kind of give it a, a fold here and there and go back on top of it. And it gives it a bit of more dimension. It'll come out better. Okay, another dab of glue. Keep on pinching the ends. You know what, I'm just going to work with this one because my gun is giving me problems. What I noticed about this glue as well too, I know you guys are saying, why are you telling me about it? We can't get it here. Is that, but there must be something similar. Is that I noticed that you, it's very, it's a very sticky glue, which means like it, the things stick to it right away. So here, as you can see, rolling it up, you can kind of open them up later on and those will flare out. You don't want to roll it up too tight, but, um, you know, not too loose as well either. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to go and give it a little fold again. Put in a little piece here, folding it and then coming back on top of that, like that. Putting some glue on the bottom. And this can also be done with needle and thread as well, if you wanted to. There's no, you know, it's perfectly fine. If you're, if you're better off working with a needle and thread, definitely do it. It can be done. Don't forget to put on glue, you guys. Just, you know, keep on making sure that you're squeezing it and that it is a good glue if you're going to be using a cold glue. If you're going to be using a hot glue gun, there's no problem there. <clears throat> I'm going to give it another fold here and then go back on it again.
they're really kind of um, not yeah kind of shabby she oh my goodness she scared the living I won't say that word out of me sometimes I think she'll bark at anything See, open it up, you can kind of play with it after. And um, keep on adding glue. And squeezing. Squeezing your flower is what's going to, you know, give it the dimension to open up and see what's the layers, like a rose. I wish this glue gun wouldn't give me problems because I feel more secure with the glue gun being on because it does stick right away. Let me see if I can get that in there. I'm trying to stick the glue stick in there so that way it'll start coming out again. See what it's like here on the bottom where you know I'm trying to squeeze it in and hold it down a bit. Once it's all glued, glued, we can naturally, you know, um, play with it, open it up better. Be good, mm -hmm. come on. Well, I can't say that, you know, if you want to do it with the needle and thread, that's perfectly fine too, because it does actually hold, you know, hold it good while you're sewing it up. Okay. Yeah, so I had a wedding on Friday. Who's friends with me on Facebook saw a picture of me and my hubby. Ready to go to the wedding. Oh, what torture, you guys. But the bride was beautiful. The place was beautiful. The um, food was excellent. And that day it rained. Poor bride. But um, it had stopped already for in the afternoon when she, you know, went to church and everything. And Yeah, it was a nice day. A nice day with family and things like that, too. And Okay, so get this. Seeing people that you haven't seen for a long time. Like the bride herself. She doesn't live here anymore. She doesn't live close by. She lives up north in Italy so um, you know we see each other on holidays and you know I saw these kids growing up because I've been around for quite a while and you know they're all my hus hubby's side nieces and nephews and they were all small when I got here at the beginning okay so I'm setting this to the side and kind of trying to open this up with these um, glue things on my hands. <laughs> Let's see if I can get some of it off, you guys. I'm actually really liking it, even though I'm kind of thinking, let me see if you guys can see that. I'm kind of thinking if, um, if I can get these layers open a bit more to see, you know, the sequence inside and and just playing around with it. There's some beautiful sequence that's kind of transparent as well that just gives it beautiful light. But yeah. Um, n like I said, not really seeing a lot of it as much as I would want to, but 
that's what it looks like okay now what I did you guys to the fabric is here I'll show you the design where I cut it right so I did two flowers one on this side I'm bringing it back out again one on this side and one on this side and in the middle I had some fabric left over and I kind of and they were rounded edges so I kind of cut them rounded the way that you know the design went and I rolled them up into little tiny flowers without putting anything in them just sticking a little piece of lace around it after and that's it just these little small you know um, pieces that instead of throwing out you have them there so at this point I would get this little piece of um, felt and I had prepared some leaves that were already green but I gessoed over them and then I sprayed them and then I put some micro beads on them see that so I'm going to and these are kind of still a bit wet but I'm going to do it anyways whatever falls off falls off I don't care being a bad boy today <laughs> come on okay I you guys I do not have good luck with guns with glue guns I do not have good luck at all okay now it's starting to work again and then I'm going to get these little ones here and kind of stick them here and there. So yeah, the leaves I just gessoed over and then sprayed them. And, um, you know, with the green spray. Hold down on it for a second. At this point, if you wanted to, um, naturally, you can put different leaves on it, smaller, bigger, whatever you please to do. And not only at the back, because I put it on a piece of felt, you can even put a hairpin there. You can put, you know, it on top of a journal. You can do anything you want to it at this point. It can be, you know, a pin pin and not a hairpin, or it can be in your hair. You can, like I said, you can put, now that I'm seeing the leaves on here, I would probably have picked out a smaller, rounder leaf. Do you know what I'm saying? But in all, you know, it looks fantastic. These leaves deserve probably a bigger flower. That's what I'm saying. We can always take one out at this point. But you know what? I'm not going to touch it anymore. And naturally, keep this as a lesson. Keep it as it, this will look beautiful. I can add more big flowers, you know, around it if I wanted to. But that's what it looks like, you guys, at the end. So, you know, with scraps of fabric, and, and those were scraps. Those were pieces that were cut for some other type of, you know, work, and I started to jelly print on top of them. But, um, yeah, you can make these, these, you know, little cute um, embellishments for your artwork or for like I said hairpins or a pin on your on your on your clothing so that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you try it out it's really easy to do you know you don't have to have a jelly printed fabric you can just use you know a normal fabric if you wanted to as well too you can color over it you can stamp over it that's what I didn't do with this and another thing you guys these would be beautiful as well done with baby wipes nice painted baby wipes i have a video on doing yo-yos out of baby wipes but we can also do these flowers as well too because you know you just have to cut the swirl cut it open these are so durable they don't rip they don't and so it would make a beautiful um flower as well too and you can make all different colors judging by how dirty your um, baby wipe is you know the different colors that are into it so like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope um, you tried out International Crafters. And until the next time, I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.